Warping your Big A loom tool for small weaving. What you'll need is your Big A loom tool, scissors, and some warp thread. I like using a eight by four simple rug warp thread that you can get, or you could use crochet yarn as well. Okay, so let's get started. So what I like to do is just hook this, secure it to the first notch, wind it around one time, coming through the front down, and then just across to the next notch, and then back up to this first notch. Go around again, coming down, and just up the next one. So now you're going to mirror this. Go up to the next hook like this, wrap it around a couple times, bring it through the back, down, and then over. And then securing it. So with the Big A, there's several ways to actually warp this tool. So this is one way. I'm going to show you another way that my friend Leslie, who is a technical weaver um, and is just amazing, showed me how to warp this tool actually with 12 strings. So what you're going to do this time, actually, you're going to start from the bottom here. So the back will look like this, kind of leaving a three inch tail. You could tape that down. I actually recommend taping that down. Going up, bringing this down to here. So basically every notch on the bottom will have two strings coming out of it. So this now, you're going to just take it all the way around through the front, taking it back, then up through the front, taking it back, up through the front, taking it back, and up through the front. One thing to keep in mind is to make sure your tension is not super tight. You want to make sure that it's, it's, it's pretty, you know, firm, but you want to also be able to take the loom, take the, um, as you're weaving, actually, you know, take your yarn through pretty easily. Okay, up that front one, down. So your warp should look like this. So basically you have 12 strings. This will actually just give you kind of a nicer surface, more um, warp to work with but your weaving piece will just be as big as this. That's just one thing to keep in mind. With the other way of warping, you could actually warp all the way up to the top, so it depends on your ref preference. So the back of your loom tool will look like this, and then you'll just secure it here, tape it down as well. It's pretty easy. That's how you warp your Big A loom tool.